Good morning. Welcome back. We are in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5. Today we're going to look at verses 18, 19, and 20. And let's see what happens next. So here we go, straight to it. Then behold, men brought on a bed a man who was paralyzed, whom they sought to bring in and lay before him. And when they could not find how they might bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the housetop and let him down with his bed through the tiling into the midst before Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said to him, Man, your sins are forgiven you. Now, right before this, it said that the Pharisees, the rulers, teachers of the law, people are gathered from every city to listen, and the place is packed. Here come some, some people with somebody they want to have healed. They can't get in. They absolutely simply cannot get in. And so they go up on the roof, and they begin to peel the tiles away, and they bring and bring the guy in through the roof down, and he... He comes down right and they lower him down right in front of Jesus. So everybody's attention is obviously on this. And so then you have the situation when he saw their faith. Well, when who saw whose faith? When Jesus saw their faith, the one guy and the other four guys that have let him down through the roof, when Jesus saw their faith, what does he do? said, by the way, the entrance is over there. Wait in line. Wait your turn. Of course not. It's very simple. When he saw their faith, he said to him, man, your sins are forgiven you. Look at this gracious response. Jesus says to him, his sins are forgiven. Now, we'll see the reaction to this tomorrow morning, and it's, it's going to be a little bit vigorous and not all positive. But Jesus sees their faith, and he tells him his sins are forgiven. Is Jesus declaring their sins forgiven, or is Jesus recognizing a fact? If these people have faith, faith in God, and faith in God working through the, his servant Jesus, Jesus who is, in fact, God, then is it not that this person has already come? He's already expressed faith. And so Jesus says, your sins are forgiven. Interesting business here. And this is going to create a problem because... Uh, you, who, who is Jesus to say such things? Well, we know he's God, so he can say such things. Our faith is made evident in what we do. When this man was lowered through the roof by his friends, their faith was made evident in what they did. They had to do a little bit of work to get him there. They had to take the roof apart so they could lower him down. And so uh, many times we, we, want, we want to snap our fingers. We want to just ride in on a magic carpet. We think that God will just... Uh, just drop in things for us. But many times there's something for you and I to do. And here they had to actually take this guy, lift him up onto the roof, take the roof apart, and then lower him down. There's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, that's some kind of vigorous stuff going on there. Do we show our faith by what we, do we really believe it? Do we really, are we ready to take steps like this? A question for us as we think on these things. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you uh, love and delight to heal people and give them goodness and to forgive their sins. Lord, we want to be right. We just pray you'll give us faith that we will not stand around or sit on our hands or just stand around waiting for... Lord, help us to act on our faith, as is the case right here. Bless, we pray, Lord, by making us men and women of faith. We ask your help in this. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, you be a person of faith today and watch... God work for you. God bless you today.